up everybody? Today's a new day. I'm making part two of my boat for the paint job and the floor. Today's goal is to get the back, the black part right here, sanded. Probably the gauges out, the steering wheel, some other stuff. Clean up the cuts and the leftover stuff that I want out of the floor. Probably take the gas tank out. And I'm gonna decide on if I wanna paint the bottom. And if I do, I gotta sand it, so. I hit this spot right here with some sandpaper. And to only do it the right way, I might as well do the bottom if I'm gonna do the top and the floor, so. I'm gonna get set up and grab all my stuff. Most of it's already in here. And just get straight to work. Probably start on the floor first. All right, so I got some more cut out. That one's gone now, pretty much. Cut some more over there. Uh, now I'm just gonna, I honestly need this like wheel. It's like a thicker one and sand everything down nicely. And then I'm gonna cut this more clean, closer to the edge, like down there. It's hot already. I've almost killed myself in here. My shoes have no grip, <laughs> but yeah, I'm just going to keep on. I, I'm looking for a wheel and then maybe I can sand all this down. All right, so I got one of the sanding wheels and I'm pretty much just going to do this. And just wear it down, just wear it down until it's flush, nice and flat. I went ahead and um, pulled out the grinder that's got a cord and I just started going to town. Everything's pretty much grinded. All this is done, this is done. This is almost done. But jeez a weasel, I promise you, you do not want to know what this feels like. This is the itchiest feeling ever. It's just flying around everywhere. I'm talking everywhere. But I guess I'm just going to keep on grinding away. I just unhooked the gas tank. See back there, right about there. Uh, the hole is blocked by a bunch of garbage and crap. And it's all caked up back here, so I'm sure that's the reason why the water wouldn't drain. So I'm gonna get this tank out of here, and then I'm gonna clean the inside. All right, so sort of a change of plans. Right here where this piece of plywood ends, I'm gonna cut it all the way to the wall, all the way down, and get rid of this whole piece and stop the, the floor up there and have this all open. And then I gotta redo, I think they're called stringers or something, make it strong again, and then I'm gonna put in a floor the same height as this here. So I'm gonna grab my grinder and 
my other stuff and just go straight to cutting on this. I'm gonna cut it out. That would have been bad. Well, there's a new piece of plywood I got. <laughs> Almost just dropped it. Oh, I still had some room. Picked up a new sander and a craft load of sanding pads. And another one of these little discs, I don't know. Go on the grinder. But it's time to break this thing out and test it. I'm going to sand everything. Everything inside the boat needs to be sanded. 100%. Especially where the fiberglass is going to go. And maybe some Bondo. So I'm going to go ahead and open this thing up. New day, just a little bit differently. This floor, it that does not play around. That is the itchiest fiberglass I've ever sanded. You can see all the sparkles laying on the boat. Kind of be like the paint job, maybe. But I got some different pads for the grinder. It's a wheel, and this is 36 grit. I was trying to use uh 60 or 60 or 80 with those pads on this sander that didn't work so i use a grinder with a wheel and that was working okay but this will work even better so my goal is to just probably get everything sanded the whole floor sanded because i don't like having to keep coming out here when to come out here get fiberglass all over me and then go back inside and then do it the next day and then sometimes it gets in your sheet, all of it off of you whenever you take a shower. It gets stuck in your, like, oh, it's like a bunch of needles. Anyways, I'm just gonna sand the floor. And hopefully make this the last time doing this floor because this shit is itchy. 36 grip pad. I'm gonna try this. I, I was using this wheel, 60 grit, but we're gonna try this now.
All right, update. Everything's out, laying over there. Down your scissors. Oh, also I got my gas pedal and my um, shifter out. So I'm gonna be ripping everything out of here. I need to take the gauges out anyways. And the other thing is the steering wheel. You can see, it's not too hard to tell, but the fiberglass is worn out, so. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and start ripping this out. Everything's out in the back, all the steering, steering wheel, all my pump, the wheels over there. I got this little rub rail off. Um, only thing left is the key, the wire for that. But gas line, positive, negative, the steering hoses, everything. Um, pretty much everything sanded down on the inside perimeter, but I still have to do back there all back there everywhere that i want gel coat to stick because the gel coat will not stick unless you sand it down it smells a little bit of hydraulic fluid it's on the boat gas cap i'm gonna drill that rivet out take this off take that one off there's still a pump on each side a water pump Next, I'm probably going to get those pumps out. I might actually clean it, rinse it out, and then start sanding the ends, like the very outside perimeter of the boat. I don't think I have to sand any of this because it's going to be covered up and I won't be gel coating it. But I think everything around is going to get it. This is not even in there. I just gotta pull it out. clean to me.
so we sanded the floor. I got the edges, the outside perimeter pretty good. Back two corners still need to be sanded down. Ben sanded the inside of on the paint. I got all the gauges out, all the wiring, everything's completely stripped out. Those pumps are gone. Last thing is probably that that right there and where the bilge pump on the other side comes. That piece of this board right here. I just found this and it's literally perfect. Here, see you You get the point. Acusa board. It's really, it's thin, but it's really strong stuff. It's like plastic. But everything is sanded up underneath, around the gauges, where the holes are. It still needs more work, but everything underneath of there. Only thing left is kind of back there, up under there. Same thing on the other side. Uh, the floor is pretty much completely done, sanded. I washed it today. I turned it around. It's facing this way now. I got all my stuff zip tied up. I might not, I'll probably only be using half of that, but. What's up, buddy? Coming along? Yeah. He's been helping sand it pretty much at all this, all the paint. The top part of this sanded. Some Red Bull? Yeah. I'm gonna do for now. Next, the next video is gonna. I got all this cardboard. I'm thinking that I was gonna have to make like a cutout for the floor, but that piece fit perfect. So I'm probably not a brand new sheet of marine. I'm probably not even gonna use it. <laughs> Just because that was laying underneath of there. Next video, I'm probably gonna be putting the whole floor in fiberglass, everything. Then after that, I gotta like bondo. Use do bondo work, sand that down, and then I can gel coat it. Let me spray it with like a web. It makes like the splatter paint look. It'll look. It's gonna look good. I can't wait. I'm excited to get there. Mm -hmm. But I had to just. This shit sucks. Sanding all this. I'm so itchy. I was wearing a jacket. I got sweatpants on. The first the first night I came out here, bro. Oh my god. That I went. And took a shower. I got out of the shower and I was like, Yeah, it was still all over me. Yeah, and I took a cold shower. If you made it this far in the video, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. This is just the beginning, so once the floor gets fiberglass thin, everything will start to look way different whenever the gel coat goes in. So I'm excited. I can't wait to dry this thing again. I can't wait to take the motor sitting underneath of all that cardboard. I can't wait to put it back on the on this boat. We still got a lot of stuff to do though. Well, I do. You can help if you want. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.